Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered about selling and buying a home at the same time? Well, we're gonna be talking about that right after this. Welcome back. My name is Jesse Paul. I'm with the Larkin Group over at Keller Williams Realty. And today we're gonna to be talking about selling and buying a home at the same time. This is one of the most emotionally stressful times that you'll ever go through in your life. And quite frankly, one of the hardest things that anybody ever does. But there are certain things that you can do to make it so much easier. But you're gonna to have to be able to detach and put your seller hat on and your buyer hat on at the same time. Now, what do I mean by that? Many times, especially in a market that we're in right now in Southern Utah, it's a crazy market and there's not very many homes for sale. So the inventory level is a lot lower than a normal market. Many times sellers are afraid that they're going to sell their home and not be able to find a new one. And that can be true. What can you do to protect yourself from that? Let's say you put your home on the market and you haven't found a home yet and you get an offer. Well, one thing you could do is actually accept that offer contingent on finding another replacement property. That way it protects you, especially in the state of Utah, buyers have a lot more protection than sellers do. So once a seller's under contract, they don't have as many outs as a buyer does. So that's one way to protect yourself in the state of Utah is to put a contingency on your seller side offer or acceptance, put in a contingency on your seller side acceptance that it is contingent on you finding a property. Now let's look at the other side of it. So put your, now you've got to put yourself in the seller's shoes this time because I can't tell you how many times we've been on the listing side and we get an offer in for a, a home um, and it's contingent on the buyer listing and selling their home and they haven't even started the process yet. So you have to put your seller hat on for just a second and see how you would receive that offer. It doesn't go over too well very often. Now, what are some things that you could do as a buyer to help with that scenario? Let me give you some examples. Number one, you could have it all ready to go on the market. So you could have the listing paperwork done, you could have the photography done, you could have everything done. And if you're serious about moving, this isn't gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be well worth the cost to make this happen because chances are you're gonna find a home. You're just not sure of the timing of it but it looks a lot better in your offer if you come forward saying, hey, this is a contingent offer and we're ready to hit go as soon as we find an acceptance. That goes off a lot better than, well, I still have to go home, I have to get the photography, I have to find an agent. It just doesn't go over very well in the seller's shoes. So that's a good tip for buyers of how you can present yourself in a much better way when you're having to find a property before you've actually listed yours. Because technically, if you've signed listing paperwork, it is listed, you just still have to put it in MLS. So you're not lying, you're telling the truth about that, but you're ready to go. You've found a powerful agent, you've got the house ready, you've got the photography ready, you've got the listing document signed. The seller knows that you're actually serious. Another quick tip when you're selling and buying a home at the same time, is just to really slow down and think things through. Don't get too excited about everything and just follow your strategy that you put together with your agent in the very beginning. This way you're not making emotional decisions because when you're doing both, it can be stressful and it's highly emotional. And the last thing we wanna do is start making emotional decisions because they can cost you thousands of dollars. And we're in this game to win not lose. So I hope that was helpful today. And if there's anything else we can do or answer any questions for you, reach out to us here at the Lark Group. You can either, I think my phone number is somewhere down in the description, or you can shoot us an email or, or better yet, tell me what you think about the real estate process and what you, tips you might have when you're buying and selling a home. Because let's face it, everybody's got to live somewhere 
and most of the time we have to sell a home and buy a home at the same time down below i think left or right i never can remember there's a subscribe button if you like what you hear today please subscribe and hit that little bell icon wherever it's at um, so that you can get notified every week on wednesday i put out a new video and Sometimes it's a market report, and many times it's tips on selling your home for the highest price possible. Thank you, and have a great day. Bam, bam.